Welcome back to Dawson Design Production Company. Today, we're doing a big ol' unboxing. Uh, usually I do these as shorts, but there's a lot of things to unbox, so I want to see them all in a regular video. So, here we go. This first one, it's a wallet. We'll look at that in a minute. The second one, it's a box that says made in China. The third one, it's another box. It says lazy phone stand. The fourth one, it's another bag. So, and this last one, I believe this is from Apple. So, we'll get to that last. This is second to last. And these I'll do, these I'll do together because they're all related. Okay, very nice. So, this is for when I am working. This is a big arm and this part it will clip to a desk and then you screw it back down and then you can have this like tablet holder right here I have a tablet right in front of you so at where i work i work on a lot of android tablets and i have to look down at them all the time and it would be a lot nicer to have a floating tablet just attached to the desk and this stretches out pretty far. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. But Amazon has varying prices for their products. So I like to buy a few different options, see which one I like best, uh, see if I can live with the cheapest option. So let's take a look at this one. This one has the exact same, oh, it's actually different, but it appears the same on the outside. It's a cheaper, like, stretch out thing. And it has pretty much the same attachment. I, it, it basically, on this one, comes down to how much each one costs. Finally, this third box, Oh, oh, this one has uh, clips. The, these things clip to the arm and it can have a cord go down it. So that's actually really useful for holding my, holding a tablet that's charging or whatever. Holy moly, this one was $13.59, I believe. And this is heavy duty. This, this thing's made of metal here. This is made of metal, and the holder stretches out from both sides. It's pretty cheap. This seems like the way to go. For $13.59, I believe, this, this is probably the best option. Other than that, I would not go with this, because the clips are just a cheap attachment to the same thing that this is. I would go with this for $6.99. So, I'll put links to both of them. There's aluminum and there's the rubbery one. Links down in the description. So, we are going to take a look at this product. This is very interesting. I don't have the thing that this goes with right now, but it says how Hawanek. There we go. Pull this paper off. Oops. There we go. So, this is a wallet. I have been using the Apple MagSafe wallet. The box is right there. I've been using that, attaching it to the back of my phone. But this option is nice because it has an AirTag holder built in. So, that's pretty dope. You, un you undo this and then you slide in an AirTag right into the wallet. And it's pretty thin, it's like, there aren't, there's this one piece of metal that might be uh, hazardous to your tech, but I put my wallet in my pocket with all sorts of other things, my phones, my 
uh, different tech things and I don't want them getting scratched. So I need a wallet that is not gonna scratch them. The Ridge wallet is a dope wallet. I love it, but it, it's not cool for like putting it in a pocket with my phone. So this is actually like kind of a step back, but an upgrade from what I've been using because it has a cash pocket, it has an ID pocket, it has different credit card pockets, it has this large pocket. It, th this is a lot of pockets for a small size, which is pretty cool. I like that. Moving on to the final product. This one, I don't think this is from Apple anymore, but we're gonna pull it open and see. It's got someone's name on the outside. I did order for something from Apple. It was supposed to arrive tomorrow. So that might just be lumped in with this video if this isn't it, which it is. I don't know why. It's shipping manager, it's not a personal name. Here we go. We've got MagSafe battery pack. This is awesome. So we're gonna cut this. Rip it out of their heel thing here, pull it out. Oh, okay. It opens like this. This is like the newest Apple thing and it's it was not rumored at all. So, I mean it was rumored a little bit, but not not like what Apple products usually are. So, like previous to this, the AirTag was the newest thing and I was super excited about it, but I knew everything about it before it came out. This ooh this, I, I had no idea. I had no idea what was coming out, when it was coming out. This is really interesting. There's no buttons, there's no anything. I hope it will charge my iPhone 10 because I have a MagSafe case for my iPhone 10. Previous MagSafe chargers have not worked with my iPhone 10. So I'm curious to see if this works. Sticking this on here, it doesn't charge it. Nothing, nothing happens. It just sticks right all it does is stick to it it doesn't nothing comes up nothing it doesn't charge at all so that stinks we've got some stuff here cool stickers no stickers the magsafe battery pack does not work with older iphones uh which very much disappoints me i'm gonna charge it up make sure so i have been using these products for a few days now i love the wallet I've got my license in here, and it's cool because you can see through, you can see it there. I've got debit card, debit card, my ID card for work, and then there's, this pocket is empty, I don't know what I'm gonna put in there, but there's a pocket for cash, which is super handy. I love this wallet and think it was definitely worth, I think I paid 15 bucks on it, Definitely worth that. It's a quality leather, but it's soft. It's, I think it's fake leather, but that's fine. And there's this pouch. I love that where the AirTag slides past is flush with the wallet, so it's not gonna rub against it and scratch it. You do have to hold this part up. So the AirTag is supposed to go in plastic side down, and when, it, when it's in that way, it's very flush with the holder, but I decided I want to see my little alien guy. So I put it in backwards. Also, this helps with hearing it when I'm ringing to find my wallet. So I've put it in backwards. So yeah, love this wallet. It is dope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it a little while. I'll make, I'll probably make a follow-up video telling you like later thoughts on this. I've only been using it for a few days, but I love it. Uh, I do miss the wallet that magnets to the back of my phone, but the ability to have more than three cards and cash is also really cool. Uh, the phone stands or the tablet stands. I bought it for work because I'm gonna be working on a tablet. I want it up here, not have to look down at a desk and work on it or hold it up. I could just have it floating next to my computer. So have my computer monitor here, have my computer monitor here, have my tablet floating here or here, not so much here. That 
I need to be a good quality for tapping it. And so I'm gonna go with the aluminum one. It is twice the price of the just regular $7 little rubbery one, but I'll show you some shots that I took with it. The aluminum one, you hit the side, it doesn't jiggle very much. The plasticky one jiggles all over the place. You tap it and it just starts jiggling. The aluminum one just, it's far and away better at staying still and that's going to be important for me if you just want something to clip to your bed and put over you so that you can watch tv and you're not going to be tapping it very much then i would go with the seven dollar one it's a pretty good deal and like i think the seven dollar one is a really good deal for what it is don't get the one with the clips because it's not as good of a deal it's like the same price as the aluminum one just with some clips. I think you can just kind of wrap the cord around it and it'll be fine. If you're looking for value and you're just gonna be watching TV, get the plasticky one. If you're looking for something to hold your tablet like I am to work on, then get the aluminum one for $14. So that's about all I have for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, later.